in the lead-up to their much-anticipated wedding, all eyes were on Princess Diana and Prince Charles. But even before the grand event, the late Princess Diana gave subtle hints that all was not rosy. Dainty Lady Diana Spencer, a captivating 20-year-old at the time, became the darling of Britain as she graced her engagement interviews. Emanating elegance and wit, she quickly won over royal followers. However, a mere few days before tying the knot with the now King Charles, her guard slipped during an event hinting that everything was not as it seemed. Come Thursday, July 3rd, the couple made their appearance at a garden event arranged for individuals with disabilities held at Buckingham Palace. As per expectations, they took rounds of the party ensuring cordial interactions with as many as possible. But it was during this time that Diana subtly hinted towards trouble, responding to a well-wisher's innocent good wishes by covering her mouth, reports the Mirror. Surprisingly, she went on to confide about a disagreement with Prince Charles in front of the Daily Mirror correspondent John Edwards. Recalling the moment in the Channel 5 documentary, Charles and Day, the truth behind their wedding, he mentioned, there was a great humor about, an interest in the people she was talking to. She stopped right in front of me, we were only a few foot apart, and somebody said to her good luck darling. Thank you very much, she said, and then she put her hand over her mouth and she said there was a terrible row last night between Charles and me. It had been his stag party. In that girly way of hers she repeated it. What the row was about she didn't go in. Journalist John disclosed the incident in the newsroom, leading to the Mirror's front page story the following day. The headline was, The Royal Tiff. The article reported, Lady Diana Spencer humorously mentioned a minor disagreement with her fiancé on his stag night. While speaking to guests at a Buckingham Palace garden party, Lady Diana remarked, Where's Prince Charles? Oh, there he is. He was very cross with me last night. If he comes over here, ask him why. However, Prince Charles chose to discuss the weather instead. Reflecting on the event, John commented, I've covered some pretty big stories in my life, but a little tiff between Charles and Diana, that's how it ended up. That's what 7 meters readers of the Daily Mirror read the next morning.